Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ezri again, and today I'm here to talk about the Oculus Quest 2 and a mod that I just created for my Franken Quest. Now, if you're new to VR and you have a brand new Quest or Quest 2, you'll start reading up on a lot of these mods that people use called uh, to create these things called Franken Quests. We call them Franken Quests because we're literally putting parts together to make a more comfortable headset. I've been into VR since my best friend got me into it uh, a while back when the Oculus TV One was brand new. I've owned a lot of VR headsets in my day. I've owned the Google Cardboard. I've owned the Google Daydream, the Oculus Go, the Rift S, and the Rift. The Oculus Quest One. And finally, my favorite of them all, the Oculus Quest 2. I love her. So all in all, I've owned a lot of VR units. I might have a problem. Nah. My favorite mod has always been the Deluxe Audio Strap. Uh, if you've been following up on the Quest 2, you know that the Oculus branded uh, Elite Strap has been breaking on people and so it's been on hold. So I took my deluxe audio strap that I have for my Quest 1 and printed out some fun little adapters in order to make it fit my Quest 2 and it fits beautifully. It is absolutely comfortable, it's super snug. Having the, um, the headphones on the sides here make it really easy to just jump in, play for hours and hours and go. There was, uh, another mod for the Quest 1 that would counterbalance it and that was called the Rebuff Reality VR Power. This battery will give you about 10 additional hours of play. But the problem that I had with it is that it doesn't attach natively to the deluxe audio strap. So you kind of have to choose between one or the other. Well, after I got my Quest 2, I started playing and I didn't want to put it down. So I very quickly ran out of battery. And that's when I decided it was time to figure out how to attach this thing to my deluxe audio strap. Now, part of the problem is that it doesn't happen natively. And what a lot of people have been doing is they've been re removing this little rubber back cover in order to stick some Velcro on it and really kind of like try to attach it on. But that didn't feel very secure to me when I was jumping around playing table tennis. So instead, I printed these little adapters right here. Now these adapters are super simple. If you want to print this yourself, you can find the link to the print in the section below, or you can send this to a friend and have them print it. Uh, this design is open source, so if you want to make improvements on it, I would love to see your improvements because mine, as you can see, is a little bit blocky, a little bit janky, but it works great. It's super secure. You can shake it all day long and it's not gonna fall off. So to use this, you want to use the strap that came with it and just velcro it to the top of the, of the deluxe audio strap. With this particular little adapter, as you can see, it attaches directly to the velcro that is on the battery unit itself. And then to attach the adapter itself, I literally just used some velcro cable ties and wrapped it around and put it on the back of the head unit here. What you'll notice is that it does get in the way of the adjustment knob a little bit, but it still turns just fine and I'm able to, to really kind of adjust it and stick it on my head. You don't feel it at all. The extra counterweight does help a little bit in terms of balancing the unit. So as you can see, it's no longer front heavy, which was a bigger problem in the Quest 1, but the Quest 2 tended to fix it a little bit. But what I noticed is that whenever my friends would play it, sometimes they would get sore necks. So it definitely helps with the balance. Um, and the really cool factor is you get 10 additional hours of play. So that's the Deluxe Audio Strap VR Power Holder. If you want to buy one of these batteries, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. So that's it. I hope that this mod helps you. I, if you're using the Deluxe Audio Strap and you're looking for a way to attach to this particular battery, uh, this seems to work pretty well. Uh, let me know if you have any improvements or any questions. I'm happy to answer any comments and have fun in the world. Bye.